what is your ministry? What do you do that's a little bit different? Okay, if I could just answer that by backtracking a little bit. Um, it was when I, in 1988, I heard the Lord during a, a period of, of, of intense devotions, I heard the Lord say to me, and it wasn't a voice, it wasn't all, you know, I didn't get knocked off my horse or anything, but I heard, I heard this impression of the Holy Spirit. Jim, I want you to um, uh, create a transport, assist the Holy Spirit in keeping families together by providing no cost and low cost transportation to and from the prisons on visiting day, and even gave me the name Barnabas. Wow. Which Barnabas, and so we started. We started doing that in 1999. Then he said, "We need to work with men and women when they get out, sort of a spiritual triage, and that's called the 72-hour fund, where we give them clothes and a backpack and help with birth certificates and a job, and and we give them things to get a leg up." But the other thing he said. Jim, I want you to write a book, a daily devotional, to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to men and women in prison using their language, their culture, their slang, as if you were in prison. Now, that's wonderful. You're speaking their language. So we only have a few minutes. I really want to get to this book. Let's show this book really quick. Uh, you have. <laughs> Because you have it both in English yep. and in Spanish. In Spanish. And uh, it is a tool that they can use. Right. It's a resource. Okay. It's a resource that we give away for free. And we've okay. given away over 400,000 copies of this book in 38 countries now in eight languages. But I want to make sure, Tina, that the book, the, the way it's written is not the power of the book. Mm -hmm. This book is to the gospel what a, what, a, what a cigarette is to nicotine. It's a delivery system. Okay. The power of the gospel, the power of the cross is what saves lives. Mm -hmm. When I write it in their language, mm -hmm. they'll read it. And that's what we want them to do. They want to, we got to get them to read this book. So when you actually leave the facility, they have this in their hand, they can refer to it. That's right. Are you, getting, are you pretty effective in getting these into the hands of the prisoners then? Is it something that's you have to jump through hoops or can you basically just no it's a, what's one of the ironies of society today is that that governments want religion in the prisons say even, that again the religion uh, the, 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 they they want religion in the prisons but they don't want it in our schools they they want whatever it takes to to rehabilitate and transform these men and we have no trouble getting this into the facilities we send it by the cases to the chaplains the chaplains put it out and we get and we also will take individual requests from inmates. If they write us, we send them a book, or they can get one on our website. So tell me your website really quick. Sorry? Your website? It's, your uh, it's www.doinghistime.org, doinghistime.org.